Economic freedom is the opposite of central planning, collectivism, protectionism and overregulation, which are all unfortunately reside for economic recession rather than growth. The first annual Economic Freedom Summit in the European Parliament in Brussels brought together senior experts and advocates of market liberalization reforms from governments, politics, think tanks, businesses and academia throughout the world. 37 speakers from 28 countries. It's a really enlivened uh, and uh, stimulated debate. It's important from us to listen and to present our experience at the parliament. It's not um, every day that the Egyptian uh, government gets presented in, at the European Parliament. The European Union should send a message that we are open for business and unfortunately we're not doing that enough. Uh, we see that uh, we, we see protectionism rising, we see that socialist policies are, are, gaining, uh, are gaining ground. The true question here is, should Greece exit the euro? program of economic policy applied to Russia, what can be and should be done to reverse this economic decline? I come from Oman. Oman is known as a seafaring nation and it's based on trading internationally. The economic situations of Greece, Venezuela, Southeast Asia, Africa and of course EU countries were discussed at the summit hosted by Amjad Bashir British Conservative member of the European Parliament with the support of the European Conservatives and Reformists Group. Welcome to this lunchtime session. My name is Daniel Hannan. It is important to understand that economic freedom is not just an economic thing. It helps build tolerance in society. Europe needs to reform itself if, it's, if it wishes to remain relevant. It was very important that we focus on trade, that this is really the core. And I think that was basically a, a, an overall theme that we really do need to go back to the four freedoms. In a moment where there is frustration to the left and to the right, and everything has been tried, and all of them are statists who want to control the economy, is great news for people like us who want to defend freedom. Collectivism, protectionism, over-regulation are not just a recipe for recession, but very often the road to serfdom.